tonight's Family First, we're talking about a not very talked about consequence of childbirth, head deformities, and newborns. Yeah, they are almost always temporary and harmless, but how do you know when they're not? One local doctor single-handedly developed an easy way to tell. Fox 61's Tim Lammers has the story. When Amelia Ciccatelli was born early at 26 weeks, her misshapen head took a back seat to her underdeveloped lungs. There was a lot going on. Um, she had been intubated at the time. She was intubated for um, 101 days. The head to me like just wasn't a main concern. After all, many babies are born with misshapen heads. The bones in newborn skulls don't fuse for months. That makes childbirth easier, and almost all of them return to a normal shape on their own, but not Amelia's. This was causing Amelia to have some uh, extreme vomiting because we feel like the pressure was kind of um, getting, you know, getting up there in her brain. Amelia had craniosynostosis, a rare condition where those skull plates fused early, so the head shape can't rebound on its own. And that happens in about one in two or three thousand patients. When it does happen, there can be significant long-term consequences for the children if it's not corrected at an early age. The trick is to figure out which cases are harmless and which aren't. Dr. Marcus Bookland of Connecticut Children's Medical Center said trained doctors can easily diagnose this in person, but... The problem is there aren't craniofacial, enough craniofacial surgeons to go around to review every single baby who's under four months of age. So Dr. Bookland personally coded a computer program that can diagnose craniosynostosis using only pictures. That's something that you can port. That's something that you can put in the hands of uh, pediatricians and patients. Especially patients like Amelia, who shouldn't be traveling during the pandemic much because of her breathing problems. I'm like, how can a doctor know that just by, you know, looking at, at pictures? At 95% accuracy, it's almost as good as a human diagnosis and already more accurate than x-rays. His software that he had used saved her that radiation and we didn't have to go through one more thing, you know, that Amelia would have to sit through. After surgery by Dr. Jonathan Martin at Connecticut Children's, Amelia's vomiting went away. She's now healthier and happier. And it all started with a diagnosis made by a program. This is the result of years of, uh, of coding uh, as sort of a second, uh, second hobby or a passion of mine. And that passion could one day help children all over the world, as the program is still being developed with an eye on porting it to smartphones. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61 News.